So there's this thing called nits in esports. For example, all esports professionals are nerds. Well, not according to Pasha Biceps, who is an ex-pro player in CSGO and earlier this year he won a professional MMA fight. I'm telling you guys, this is exactly what happens when gamers touch grass. Pasha Biceps! For some reason there's still people around that think that no girls play video games, so there's only one way to find out. How many girls are playing CSGO right now and streaming? Already got one, two, there we go, three, the ranking E girl. Four, five, that looks like a girl to me. Six, seven, that's a girl. Eight, nine. Um, <laughs> does this count? I don't know. <laughs> Out of a sample of a hundred people, nine of them were girls. Gaming is a meaningless waste of time. My dad. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is just offensive. Like, are, are you saying that a quarter of my life is just meaningless? Huh. I personally don't find it meaningless and I want you to think if you find it meaningless or not and maybe write down in the comments as well. Gaming is purely entertainment. I came into this tournament with my father. Uh, yeah, he passed away just before I got here and his last wish was that I, I went here. And so I really want to dedicate this, this win to my father. As you just saw, I don't think that's true. The esports scene is a short-term trend. People have been saying this since 2001, so uh, that's a nope. The haters love this one. Esports is not real sports. Relax, Grandpa, we're not trying to be. Most of us are perfectly fine with being in a different category. Pro gamers just sit and play video games all day long. I mean, first of all, that sounds amazing. But second, watching this video from a pro gamer about his everyday schedule, it made me realize that pro gamers put in at least the same amount of effort outside of the game as they do inside of the game, if not even more. Esports can be spelled in a number of different ways. This was true until 2017, until the Associated Press published the official spelling as esports. There is no dash in between anymore. People don't want to pay for virtual items. The most expensive skin I have ever owned was about $130. I don't really get it, but apparently some people do, because now we have a whole generation of kids with a severe gambling addiction. Working in the video game industry or esports industry is fun because you get to work on video games all day every day calling my friend for this what up yo 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 two questions you worked in the video game industry right you made video games yes i did uh would you say it was fun all right, thanks. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Online games are only big in the Western world. It makes sense to think like that, but according to the estimates, there are over 1.3 billion, with a B, online gamers from the Asian continent. That's roughly the same amount of gamers as all the other continents combined. They are actually taking over the esports industry. A career as a pro gamer is risky. Taking into consideration that there are over tens of millions of people playing the same game and only a thousand or so are able to make a living from it, I'd say it's hella risky. Retired esports pros don't have any success after their pro career ends. The average retirement age in esports is about 25, so I'd say it's definitely difficult, but in reality most esports pros find themselves still working in the esports industry as either a streamer, a coach, manager. Watching others play video games is boring. To test this, I rewatched one of the greatest TSGO matches in the recent history. Honestly, going into this, I knew who was gonna win, but even still, I got goosebumps all over my hands watching these last few runs. It was absolutely amazing. Pro gamers earn a ton of money. If you manage to get into the top 30 teams in the world, then probably yes. Anything below that, and there's actually a chance that you're not even making minimum wage, which tells you how competitive the esports scene is. It is impossible to start training to become a pro player after you have turned 20 years old. This is a good one, because this guy didn't start training to become a TSCO pro before he was 23 years old. I think I started at 23, maybe at 28 now. And now he's literally one of the top players in the world at age 28. I hope this example is motivating for some of you. I want to see you reach the top, okay? You got this. Esports stadiums are always full. From my personal experience, I would say that's not always the case. They are mostly full during the semifinals and finals, but during the quarterfinals, they can be rather empty. Esports tournaments don't make any money. While this might be a surprise, it is actually true. Most esports tournaments know that they're losing money doing tournaments, but their strategy is to double down on building a brand in the hopes that someday it will be worth it. Gaming leads to isolation. That is a good point, and I've been recording this video all by myself, so I'm gonna bring my friend in. Hello. Hey, man. And now I don't feel isolated anymore. Would you call yourself a gamer? I believe so. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I do. So what you're saying is gamers can get a girlfriend? Yeah, that's possible. Can you tell the audience how old are you? I'm 27. 
you can't see me. I can't see you. You're literally larger than the post. <laughs> no, I'm not. Wait, so you're not a child, right? No, I'm not. So that means that video games are not just for children. Yep. This is a little bit extreme, but has video games ever caused you to be more violent in real life? Mm, I don't think so. I want you to now look at this picture. Mm -hmm. That's a cute puppy. And now, can you just knife me really violently? You ready? No. <laughs> That hurt. Can you go and look at that picture again? Oh, still cute. So video games don't cause less empathy. I don't think so, yeah. And with that knowledge, it is time to test if at least a 144Hz monitor is more enjoyable to game on compared to 60Hz. This monitor sucks. You can literally see the screen tearing, it is so horrible. And lastly, people are saying that video games are addictive. And to prove them wrong, I'm gonna quit right now.